Now, a question I often get is, how many sets should you do for hypertrophy? I'll say one set per exercise. They usually come back and say, yeah, but the research shows eight to 10 sets, 10 to 20 sets, three to four sets per exercise, whatever it may be. But I think you got to look beyond sets and look at the quality of the exercise. You'll take a look at James Fisher going through a training session with somebody else and you look at the time under tension for this exercise. This guy, this dude here training like crazy is going a good 60, 70 seconds for his set. He looks like he's struggling. And then you notice James Fisher is doing a drop set with this guy, very instinctive training. That is one full set, whether it's a drop set or not, that's one full set. So to be able to do that exercise eight to 10 different sets with that intensity, you're gonna be completely burned out. You don't need to, or you've already done the damage with the, with the first set. So when you take a look at the research, are they doing research the way James Fisher conducts it? Or are they doing it in a way where you're not truly going till failure? I think you really gotta look at the research a little bit more in depth to see what they're actually doing. Because as far as I'm concerned, what I just saw with the video, that's all the intensity that you need to stimulate your chest muscle, your back, or whatever you're training. That's more than enough. So when you talk about doing one set, okay, so what's better, one set or three sets? I'll tell you what's important. Instead of looking at it as one set, why don't you look at the number, 100. 100 is recruiting 100% of the motor units required to stimulate growth. And one set do that? Absolutely. What if you've recruited all of the motor units to get the job done until failure. And then what you did was you did a rest pause and you did a couple more reps after that. Now it's almost as if you're going above and beyond. A full set, controlled, full range of motion, no momentum for a good 60 seconds till failure is gonna deliver a lot more stimulus than three sets of 10 where they're cheesy sets, somebody's swinging them up and down, there's a lot of momentum, they stop uh, short of failure. And I think giving a number three sets is better than one is, is surely a stupid observation because they're not looking at the quality of the exercise and realize there's only so many of these intense sets that you can do. To me, that's common sense. Let's not complicate these things. I'm gonna let you draw your own conclusions. Perhaps go into the gym and try a couple sets where you're going all out and then you try to go above and beyond. Give that a shot and you're gonna find out for yourself that what the research says and what you've actually experienced is completely night and day. And then you have your answer as to how you should train.